Hey folks, uh, Dane here at Jonah Guitar. Uh, this is uh, this will be an extra, uh, you know, not one of the regular series, but the extra series. And um, so I want to talk. I don't do a ton of acoustic guitar stuff. I do a lot of repair acoustic guitar wise, but I don't do uh, you know new construction. I did build a kind of a prototype for Mica acoustic guitar, and I'm in the process of doing an ES335, which is in some ways acoustic type building but mostly still electric type so um, we're going to talk about quarter sawn wood because um, I've, I've just glued up some maple sides that weren't quarter sawn uh, I'm going to and they, and they glued up fine it you know it just took a lot of time in the steam box but I'm going to um, uh, rip some some quarter sawn uh, sides because I want to bend a set of mahogany sides as well I think that while I'm building the maple uh, ES-335. I'm going to build an all mahogany ES-335 as well. Kind of a parallel build. Uh, or at least I'll have the sides for when I get to it. Um, so I'm going to readjust the camera here and show you what I'm talking about. How you can get... This is a very shallow side so uh, it's not like you have to have a lot uh, of available you know vertical grain to to get it out of your piece. If it were an acoustic side that was say four inches or slightly under four you would definitely um, definitely need a bigger board than what I'm dealing with here to get that much quarter sawn out of. You would probably uh, either not use quarter sawn or you would um, you would buy it already, you know, insides. So anyway, that's part of why those side sets and back sets are so expensive because of the the quarter sawn wood uh, aspect of that. Um, I try to cut my own wood so I don't have to pay those prices. All right, I'm going to readjust this thing. Um, yeah, well, you know what? No, actually, you can't see those lines, but I'm going to redraw these lines with uh, chalk to give you an idea. So um, you can see the the rings, you know, growth rings, which are right here. And so, yeah, just, you know, sort of like that, like that like that. And I'm, I'm drawing big. They're closer together than that, but just to give you the general idea of that. So, now they, when you get over to about here, you're square to those rings. So, did I stand the camera? Yeah. So, you got, oops, you got that line right there, which is square to these rings. Now, this is your quarter sawn wood. If this is the face of your board, right where you make this cut, now your face of the board is here rather than on top. Now this is a quarter sawn piece of wood. Now because this is coming out on a radius, and we'll call these these lines rays, because these we're coming out on a radius with these, as you progress, if you continue to cut straight, you're no longer cutting quarter sawn. You're going to get over here and now you're cutting rift, rift sawn. Uh, and it's going to just keep getting worse and worse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this board right down, right, you know, all the way down the length of the board right on this line. And then I'm going to resaw um, this board, uh, you know, like about four, four layers in, about four layers in this way. Now they will be square to this board, but they're still going to be very, very uh, much quarter sawn. Maybe the very last one will be just slightly off of being quarter sawn. Um, the last one is an extra anyway. Now, I've kind of been debating this as to, uh, you know, because I'm going to be over here maybe, oops, going to be over here maybe when I'm done ripping my my deal. So you can see that that's still really straight and, you know, same thing over here. Still really straight line. So those are all really well quarter sawn. But what I'm going to do is uh, this center cut right here will be my outside quarter sawn boards. So they will be uh, book matched, so to speak. Right, they're going to be the ones that that separate right on this line, and when you lay them open, they would be a book match. Now, obviously, it's not as easy. I mean, we book match guitar sides all the time, but it's not as easy, especially on a narrow side, and especially on um, it, guitars. Period. You know, it's not like you can flip the guitar over and really see how well the quarter sawn uh, things line up. 
okay? Um, so that's, but that's just the point that I'm shooting for. So I will, I will split this board here and I will rip this on the bandsaw so that I have a very thin curve because I have a 16th inch blade in my bandsaw. I, I set up my table saw to do it and it just dawned on me that I should just set up my bandsaw and do it. And then I can just uh, change the size of my cut and peel those off um, as different, uh, different layers. Um, so these will end up being about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to shoot for just somewhere fat of that and then sand down to sixteenth, uh, a sixteenth of an inch. So, all right. Uh, I thought uh, that might be of interest to some folks. Um, if you have any uh, input about quarter sawn wood and uh, other ways that you might achieve that, uh, put them in the comments. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's about it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, also, thanks very much for the new sub, uh, sub, sub uh, subscribers. I was going to say supporters. The new subscribers. Um, uh, you know, I'm up somewhere over 300, and I'm quite amazed by that. And I just uh, thank you guys for sticking with it. And uh, uh, continue to share and hit, click the like button or the thumbs up. Uh, I guess that helps things grow. And I uh, really appreciate all that. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time. Yeah, I was saying that one other thing I was kind of struggling with is what to do. You know, I cut this piece off. It's not really going to be quarter sawn through a lot of it. Uh, what do I use it for? And, you know, the reality of that is it can still be um, thinking of um, curved linings or even just bent linings. Um, you know, you still got all these rays here that are going this way. So all you have to do is adjust your cut a little bit and you can get, say, you know, block a quarter sawn right there. You get lots of, um, this is a 45 inch board. You can get a lot of curved lining material out of that and it would all be quarter sawn. So just another uh, little thing to think about there. Thanks again.